What's going on guys, it's the Lone Courier here and I'm here to talk to you guys today about something not a lot of people have been talking about when it comes down to Battlefield 1 and that is Battlefield 1 is going to have free DLC. Some people have been talking about it and some people are like, oh fuck yeah, free DLC. That's not that's not the point that I want to talk about here. I'm going to talk about free DLC and Call of Duty because Call of Duty is a game that really should have free DLC at this point. Now, whether you want to argue or not whether the DLC is worth any money, <laughs> It's just, it is in the long run, well in the long term, best interests of Activision for the game, you know, because for Advanced Warfare, perfect example right now, right, I can't find any games with the DLC, you know, recently I had to delete all my DLC because I felt like going back and playing a little bit of Advanced Warfare, you know, when there's the whole double XP weekend on and shit, I don't know, I just, for some weird compelling reason I felt like playing it for one fucking reason or another. But yeah, I felt like playing Advanced Warfare again recently and basically it took ages to find a game and I couldn't even find a full lobby when I had DLC, you know, it was just, I could find four players at best and that was it. And it basically ended up in me having to delete all of my DLC in order to find the game and it was just awful, you know, because the thing with Advanced Warfare is it coupled the whole Exo Zombies thing in. Whether you liked Exo Zombies or not, I personally liked it. I, I quite like the maps. I don't mind going back and playing Exo Zombies every so often. It's it's fun in my opinion. Um But it's just I can't do it anymore because I deleted all the DLC and it's fucking annoying because it's like, yeah, free DLC would really benefit Call of Duty in that way because I have to delete my DLC in order to find lobbies, but if free DLC was in Call of Duty, this wouldn't be a thing. You know, so many people, when you hear the words free DLC, they're like, oh yeah, free DLC, fuck yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's that's not their only reason why DLC is free. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, cases in the first place of free DLC is just to prolong the life cycle of the game and the player base eventually, because if you have DLC, and you're struggling to find games, chances are you're gonna probably stop playing the game, especially if it's out of its life cycle. And you know when these games have free DLC, it means that the player base isn't split. Because that's what paid DLC does. It splits the player base into a group of people who have the DLC and people who don't. And for some odd reason, it usually just ends up being the people without the DLC are in a higher majority. You know, the people with the DLC end up in the minority because, I don't know, out of instinct, out of instinct, some people just delete the DLC after the game's life cycle for some reason. Um, I personally think it's a good idea when it comes to Call of Duty because it does help you find games and shit like that. And I just, I really just wish that free DLC was a thing for Call of Duty because sometimes there's a good Call of Duty that you want to play after its life cycle is over. Say for example, Infinite Warfare next year, it might be terrible. I might feel like playing Black Ops 3 instead sometimes. And I probably will have to delete my DLC just to do that. That fucking sucks. Because I bought the season pass for the game and I expect to be able to play the DLC even after the game's life cycle is over and still manage to find lobbies. But you know what? I can't because the way the DLC works, you know, it just fucking fractures the player base and it really fucks over everybody involved. And I think that's what DICE are doing with the free DLC for Battlefield 1. Because I'm not too sure when their next plans of a new Battlefield game are going to be after this. It's probably going to be a long time until another Battlefield game is out. You know, Battlefield 4 until Battlefield 1 is quite a long wait. Of course there was Hardline in the middle of it, but I wouldn't really count that because it was like made by Visceral Games. And it's it's kind of like when you've got Treyarch making a game and then you've got like Sledgehammer to put out a game in between. It's like that for example. So I wouldn't class Hardline in that but from Battlefield 4 to 1 it was quite a long time to wait. Uh, probably about 3 years to be honest. A Battlefield game every 3 years. Free DLC really does help the player base in those 3 years because it doesn't fracture it. And fair enough, a lot of the people that still play Battlefield three years later are diehard fans or just big fans of Battlefield in general. And that's people that are going to buy the DLC. But say for example, you might have somebody that can't afford it, so they're trying to play the vanilla maps and they can't. Which is good because free DLC means that nobody will ever have to, you know, wait for a ridiculous long, ridiculously long amount of time to find the game because they've got DLC. You know, it just... 
it really feels like the developers are looking out for you more when they're giving you free DLC and it's not because they're giving you content for free, sure enough, sh uh, fair enough that is a nice thing to do but it's just them going yeah we're just going to help the community for once because it does actually help the community whether you like it or not, free DLC does because it doesn't split anybody off into minor groups you know say for example you might have a minor group of somebody that has only DLC pack 1 I'm just using this like Call of Duty terms because I'm not really too diehard a fan of Battlefield so I wouldn't know the terms but say for example some guy has DLC pack 1 and it might be a bit awkward for him to find games because other people might have the other DLC packs and it just it, it really fucks over the player base if you know what I mean here. I just think free DLC really should be incorporated into a lot more games nowadays. A couple examples of games right now that have free DLC, Rainbow Six Siege and Halo 5 and those are doing pretty damn well in terms of player base. Fair enough, uh, Halo 5 might not exactly have the most amount of players on it, it definitely has dropped a lot but it's people that are still playing it to this day and people that probably would have stopped playing if the DLC was paid so it's a good thing that they give us free DLC. And then you've got Gears of War 4 which is coming out this year which is going to have free DLC as well which is really caring of the developers because they're just going right yeah, we're helping you after the game's out of its life cycle because you know paid DLC does fracture the player base and it really it really just affects everybody in general you know because when you've got the people that don't have the DLC they're playing with less and less people and then you've got the people with the DLC they're playing with less and less people and it's just it's not good for anybody involved so yeah, Call of Duty really needs free DLC and it doesn't matter if you think the DLC is worth anything or not, I mean sure enough you've got your zombies map and four multiplayer maps, but really, is that really worth £10? I don't think so, it's not, you know, it's either make the DLC free or make the zombies map separate to purchase because I would purchase the zombies map only if I knew um, that I would be wasting my money buying the multiplayer maps, I just wouldn't buy them, you know, simple as that. So yeah, free DLC really is probably one of the best options for Activision at this point. Considering how low the player base is going to be next year for Infinite Warfare, considering they've got uh, the Modern Warfare 1 remaster coming out, and then you've got people that just can't afford the Legacy Edition, so that's people that might possibly stick on Black Ops 3, which those people are going to inevitably have to delete their DLC just to find more games, and yeah. So, with Infinite Warfare dividing a lot of opinions, we still not have any multiplayer gameplay yet, so we'll just have to wait and see how the game actually pans out. But I think a lot more people are going to be playing COD 4, and less people are going to be playing Infinite Warfare. And then say for example, when Sledgehammer's game rolls out the next again year, you're going to have people that have the DLC for Infinite Warfare, and Infinite Warfare might have a low player base because of the setting, and it's going to get even lower and lower and it's it's just going to end up in a really shit cycle. I mean it has been in this shit cycle for a couple of years now but it's just going to get really really progressively worse over the next couple of years considering the games uh, that are likely to come out. You know you've got Infinite Warfare which more than likely will probably be a community outburst kind of game. You know I don't think many people will enjoy it and then you've got Sledgehammer and who knows what they're up to? Who knows what Michael Conjure and the boys are cooking up? Maybe they're cooking up Advanced Warfare 2? Maybe they're cooking us up a World War 2 Call of Duty? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and find out. And I'm not going to speculate about it. That's the end of Sledgehammer 2017 discussions. So, free DLC, it is possibly the best option for any kind of multiplayer game these days. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of game it is, free DLC is really just the way forward. You know, because it helps your gaming in the long run. And if you're going to incorporate some kind of loot box system just so you can have free DLC, then that is fine by me. With Gears of War 4, I've heard there's going to be a loot crate system like supply drops or something. I would be fine with that if that means, if that's the reason why the DLC is free. Like Halo 5, I've heard people say that the DLC pretty much gets paid for with the amount of rec packs that people buy and that's fine in my opinion. Stuff like this is fine and you know, I, I don't mind it in that case. So yeah, I've rambled on for long enough, almost about 9 minutes here, so yeah, let's see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, I always do appreciate it. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.